Lola everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Philly Beats You and welcome back to another Z showcase video in which we talk about a bunch of different Z moves in Pokemon Sun and Moon and look at their effects in the terms of it being good, how we can use it competitively or if it doesn't even make sense at all in the game. Uh, in this video of course we're going to be talking about the lovely move Trick Room equipped with the Z Crystal, in this case the Psychic Z Crystal and this video was brought to you by Spazer Plays who says Try Z Trick Room? Question mark? 13 likes up on that. And of course, guys, if you do want to be mentioned in the next video and shown on screen, make sure to comment down below what Z move you want to see in the next video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this game. So here we are. We are in the game right now, and we have my lovely experiment Pokemon for this video. We have an Oranguru named Clementine who knows the moves Trick Room. Thunder, now this is important why I put Thunder and Focus Blast on it. Thunder has an accuracy of 70%, and we're going to talk about the accuracy stuff later. Focus Blast also has a 70% accuracy chance. So there's chances of missing this as well. Um, for this experiment, we put Clementine at a quiet nature, which means the speed is going to be reduced and the special attack is going to be high. That's usually very good when you're playing around with Trick Room, as Trick Room is used to make slower Pokemon go first. So if you're in a competitive battle, you want to Trick Room, switch out to other Pokemon that are really slow. Slow Pokemon get the advantage. So that's something really big in the game. But we're going to see what happens when we do use Z Trick Room. So let's go ahead, get out here, get into the battle, get out this Pokemon breeding place, find ourselves a patch of grass, and get right into this. So here we go. Gotta find me a patch of grass. What Pokemon will we find first? Is it me or I can't find grass net right now? There we go. There's the grass. All right, let's get into this. So let's encounter our Pokemon. Now, obviously, I still think our Oranguru is going to be a lot faster. So the other Pokemon is going to be able to move first after we do the Trick Room. But we're going to show exactly what happens when we do that. So let's go ahead. We're going to hit the Fight option here. Hit Z Power. And we're going to go with the Z Trick Room. All right, I guess that other Pokemon is faster. <laughs> Never mind, level 100 Orangu does not mean I'm faster. So we boosted its accuracy by using the move. And we use the Trick Room. So there we go. Now we twisted up the dimensions and hopefully we'll be moving first this time. Now, to take note of what just happened, our Orangu accuracy is now up by one point. Now, what does that matter? Like, what's the point of accuracy? Well, accuracy plays a very big role in landing some of the moves like we talked about. Um, in this case, we have a Thunder with a 30% chance and a Focus Blast with a 30% chance. And that raises your chances of actually landing those moves as opposed to missing it. Now, whether the significance of it hitting with one accuracy is great, I wouldn't say it's the best thing in the world, but my suggestion when it comes to playing around with Trick Room is get a Pokemon that also has a move to boost the the accuracy as well. Maybe have a Pokemon with Trick Room and Baton Pass, pass over that accuracy, boost up the accuracy again, and probably use a Pokemon with a very low accurate move. Anyway, let's go ahead and try out Thunder or Focus Blast here. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Uh, let's go with Focus Blast. Let's see if we land it. Are we going to get a... Are we going to... All right. So the Focus Blast at 70% now is a little higher and we were able to land that on the Fomantis. So that's that's the benefits of having Z Trick Room. So it's, it's just Trick Room switched up. The slower Pokemon gets the benefit and we get the accuracy boost. But let's dig a little more deeper into it and see what other what other things we can do uh, in this game. So let's pull up our lovely Cerebi because I just love Cerebi. What a great website that is. And uh, here it is. So we have the regular Trick Room. Is a psychic move like we said and the battle effects is basically the user creates a bizarre area in which slower pokemon get to move first for five turns now when you're when you're playing around with trick room in itself you have to always keep track of the turns because sometimes you might lose track and then it's going to mess you up so that's something you always want to keep in mind five turns till the trick room dies down um the accuracy like we said boosts you up by one stage and that's pretty important and we're going to talk a little bit more about that now, what I also did mention to you guys is you're probably going to want to have a Pokemon 
that has baton pass as well so you can pass on the accuracy to another pokemon and why i said that is because some pokemon like i mentioned before have maybe those one hit ko moves which have a very low percent accuracy and um some Pokemon have a lower, just a lower chance of hitting in general, so 70% chance. So you want to pass it on to Pokemon that's pretty strong in its, in its special attack or attack, and that accuracy boost is going to help that Pokemon be able to, you know, do that nice solid damage onto it. So in the case of having a Z Trick Room with a Baton Pass, I suggest using a Porygon Z, as Porygon Z has access to Trick Room and Baton Pass, and also using an Espeon. Espeon also has the access to Baton Pass and Trick Room. Uh, on its own uh, moving on now we have a list over here of some of the accuracy moves 50% um, accuracy so usually Pokemon plays it in a really smart way if the accuracy is low the power of the move is high this is why boosting of accuracy is quite an important thing within the game as well and and you can use that Z trick room as your base to get that one accuracy started off and then move into other things as well but yeah here's a great list we have dynamic punch with a 50% accuracy the power goes up to 100 now machamp is a very slow pokemon so machamp gets an advantage in z trick room now if you have no guard machamp is easily going to land no problem so machamp is going to be a very good pokemon in general within trick room itself I mean, if it wasn't a no guard machamp then yes the accuracy boost would help it to probably land that dynamic punch we got zap cannon zap cannon is a 120 power uh, special attack electric move that is really powerful and uh, I know Zerkatree can benefit from this as well if you boost up Zerkatree's accuracy using some other means like I said using the Z trick room and then going on with the baton pass and then maybe having an item on Zerkatree that boosts its boost its accuracy yeah it's gonna do really good and do that nice damage that solid damage you need to take out a certain Pokemon now this is not the best option but it's an option available for you guys to use and we have more more of these moves over here as well then we also have these amazing one-hit KO moves that we were talking about. We have Fissure, we have Guillotine, we have Horn Drill, and we have Sheer Cold. Now all of these moves have 30% accuracy, but when we do boost our accuracy, it's going to make a big difference. Now accuracy is an interesting concept as it is one of the hidden stats used to assist in attacking the opponent. Now here are some of the items that maybe you can do when you're passing on your Z Trick Room to another Pokemon. You got the Miko Berry, which is a Poffin ingredient powered by a Pokemon, it raises the accuracy of a move just once in a pinch. We got Wide Lens, which slightly raises accuracy of moves. We have the X Accuracy, which raises the user's accuracy by one stage. And we have the Zoom Lens, which accuracy increases if the user is attacked by foe first in turn. So you got these nice, nice accuracy boosting uh, items that you can use on your Pokemon. We also have these, the Falling Abilities boost the user's accuracy when activated. You got Compound Eyes, Victory Star. Um, so yeah, it's pretty pretty good stuff when it comes to accuracy. Accuracy plays a very, very, very important part um, when it comes to using a very strong move. So that is the benefits of Trick Room in its own, included with the Baton Pass, included with maybe a Pokemon that can buff up its accuracy in general. So going down over here, we have three moves as well that can help with your accuracy. We've got Acupressure, we got Coil and Hone Claws. Hone Claws. So these all help up with the accuracy. So again, if you want to run a baton pass team, boosting up the accuracy, you can start getting major solid hits. That's up to you. Uh, personally, it's not the best way to go in the meta. But if you want to pull some trolley trickery stuff, that is the way to go. So that's pretty much it uh, when it comes to this, guys. Uh, like I said, if you got to see Pokemon who know Trick Room, here is the list. It is right on Cerebi. If you type in Trick Room and go into it, you have a good list of Pokemon. A lot of psychic Pokemon uh, do know there's some ghost Pokemon as well. You want to see who knows Baton Pass as well. Baton Pass is very efficient in this as well. But there, guys, that is pretty much it when it comes to it. Don't forget, comment down below what Z move you want to see in the next video, what we're going to talk about, the strategies that you can use it in battle, and how it can help you out to be the very best Pokemon trainer there ever was and to mess up your friends uh, totally. So just like that button, smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. This is Philly Beats You, and I'm out.